In tonight's video, I'll be reviewing all my favorite beauty products, so all my makeup products that I go to all the time in 2013. I'm going to share with you what all my favorites are. So I have a lot to go through. I'll kind of make it fast, and I won't be going through every single product in a lot of detail because you guys have probably seen it in my recent videos, um, in my past videos. So if you do want a little bit more information, um, you can ask me a question below. I'm also going to try to do a blog post on my website which is arielhope.com, which has just been posted on the internet, so yay for that. If you want to know more information about those products, um, then you can go there and check out the site. So anyway, let's just get into this video, and let's go through everything that I could not live without in 2013. Okay, so the first group of products that I'm going to talk about are primers, and I really like to buy primers just because I like to see what's out there, and I like to see what works best for me. So the three that I'm going to talk about are, um, let's start with the first one, so the Revitalift Miracle Blur from L'Oreal Paris. This is an oil-free primer, and it has that silicone texture. And I usually go for primers that are like that because I like the way foundation lays on top of a texture like that. It just makes it go on really smooth. The other one that I really like to use that also has a silicone feeling texture is the Prime Time. And I just have a little sample size. I usually have the big size, but I can't find it. Um, but Primer from Bare Minerals is also one of my favorite primers. It just makes everything last longer, it locks in moisture, and my skin's really dry, so I really benefit um, by using a primer. So this is another one if you're looking for an inexpensive primer. And then the other, if you don't like those silicone-based primers, this is the NYX HD Studio Primer Base. So this is more of a cream, and it has like a white cast to the primer, and... It does blend really well, but I think it works really great for pictures. Um, it just makes your foundation go on really smooth, make it last longer. So this is an alternative if you don't like those other primers. This is also a good one. Moving right along to foundations, and there's three that I kind of go back and forth between, but there's my one main one that I can't live without. So I'm going to go through the ones that came in second place as a tie, and the Two that I use or switch between is the Motives Liquid Powder Mineral Foundation. This is my newest foundation that I had a chance to try, and it's very creamy. I feel like it's more of a matte finish, but it gives like kind of a medium to full coverage, but mostly a medium coverage. You can build it, but it's really lightweight. It doesn't feel super heavy or greasy. I hate that feeling. So I've been using this every so often, and I really do like this foundation. The other one, if I feel like using a liquid, is the MAC Mineralize Moisture SPF Foundation. Um, this one's nice because it really gives a nice dewy glow to the skin. It's not a super heavy foundation. It gives about a medium to full coverage. You can definitely build it. But if I do feel like using liquid products, this is my go-to liquid foundation. So the first one, hands down, is my favorite would be the Ready Foundation from Bare Minerals. I used the Golden Tan. I had to go up a shade. Um, I used to use the original formula. Now I use the Ready. So Golden Tan, it, it's more of a natural finish, but it gives the most amazing coverage. You can definitely get a full coverage with this foundation. And I just like the fact that it's in a compact. As you can see, I hit the pan, so I use it quite a bit, but... Um, and it also has sunscreen protection, it has SPF 20, which is all, always nice so you have a little bit of protection from the sun. So if you're looking for more of a mineral powder foundation, then try the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation. So out of all the products that I buy, I love buying concealers. I don't know why, but I'm always finding myself buying a new one you know, once every couple of months, just to kind of see what's out there, and see which is, you know, gives the most coverage or whatever. So I like to use them underneath my eyes, or if I have an occasional breakout, I just put it over my um, breakout, or I scar really easily too after I have a breakout, so I like to conceal those. So I have a few concealers. I'm not gonna show all the concealers I like, but mostly the ones I used in 2013. One I don't have because I can't find it, so I'll just kind of tell you what it is. Um, and that would be 
the Correcting Concealer from Bare Minerals. That I like because it is a correcting concealer. It does reduce dark pigmentation over time and it does have SPF 20, but it does get great coverage. Um, it's more of a creamy texture. Little goes a long way, so it lasts um, a long time and it comes in a nice little tiny compact. And I'm totally bummed. I don't know where it is. Somewhere um, with all my other makeup, but just want to let you guys know that's another one of my favorites. Um, the others that I use are, um, this is the Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, and this is from NYX. So, this I really use most of the time, almost every day. For underneath my eyes, um, I use it to shape my brows and just clean up the edges of my brows. And then also if I have any blemishes. The other concealer that I like is Hard Candy, and I've used this for a really long time, the majority of 2013, and this is the Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. So it's more of a liquid consistency versus a cream, and it's really inexpensive. You can find it at Walmart, I believe, but I totally love this Hard Candy Concealer, and I've seen it all around the internet and Instagram, so I thought I would give it a try. And I totally fell in love. So in my face routine, I always have to have a bronzer. Just because I feel like it warms my skin tone up. It defines certain areas on my face and just gives me a little bit of a tan, which I always like. So the one that I've been using for years, and I know you see me use it on almost all of my videos. And that's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Natural in Give Me Sun, and this one I'm almost out. I'm literally like scraping it. There's like hardly any left, so I'm definitely due for a new one. But this has lasted me forever, and it's seriously the best bronzer and matches my skin tone perfectly, and it just gives the perfect amount of color. And you can totally build it too, but you don't need that much. So if you're looking for a bronzer, definitely check this one out. And I think they have different colors too, so you can find this at MAC. So I always switch back and forth between blushes, and I'm always looking for new ones out there. The four that I have in front of me have been used the most this year. And the first one I'm going to talk about is from Bare Minerals. And this is kind of my go-to when it comes to my makeup routine just because it's a neutral, but it has a little bit more warmth to it. I like more of the warmer, warmer tones. And this one is just great for any skin tone, and it goes with a lot of different colors. So any color that you choose to wear that day, whether it be cool or warm tones, you can definitely use this blush. So this is called The Confession from Bare Minerals. The next two are from MAC, and this is a favorite. This is Bad Girl Gone Good. This is a blush from the Riri Hearts MAC collection. This was definitely one that I grabbed a lot. Another one for more of like a bronzy look, I used Worldly Wealth. I've used that in a couple videos, and it's definitely a bronze tone. Gives a little bit of a glow to my cheeks. And last but not least, this is my most recent blush, but I feel like I pick it up every day. And this is from Motives Cosmetics, and this blush is called Naughty. So it's definitely a peachy pink blush, more on the peach side, but it gives a really pretty satin finish to my cheeks, so it gives a little bit of a dewy glow, so I totally love this blush. One of my favorite things to do when it comes to makeup is have that really pretty dewy glow. And I think we all wanted that glow once we were introduced to J.Lo and tons of other um, models and Latina women out there. Just that dewy glow is just amazing and to die for. So the one that I really like to use, and I use it all the time, and it's the Mineralize MAC Skin Finish. And this is in Soft and Gentle. This one I'm also scraping the pan there's basically nothing left so I need to buy one tomorrow and it just gives like the prettiest glow on the cheeks and I like it because it goes with everything doesn't matter what look you're going for or what um, choice of colors that you pick it just totally goes and it looks great on any skin tone and I know they do have a lot of other tones if you're looking for maybe something more bronzy or more pink, but um, this is my 
go-to because it's more of a neutral. So hands down, best highlighter ever. So I did do a tag video on this topic, but I will just quickly show you guys which ones I picked. And I'm gonna talk about eyeshadow palettes. So I have three that I always go to, and I just, I love them. They they work with anything and they're great to like pack in my suitcase if I'm going on a trip because they're colors that I could just use for any occasion. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is the Naked Urban Decay Basics. I have done a video on this and it's actually one of my most popular videos. I will link it somewhere right here if you want to check it out. But these are the colors that come in this palette. They're all matte except for this one but this is a great highlighter. So this is definitely a go-to. The other one, let me turn my phone off. The other one is from Kat Von D. This is the Ladybird palette. I use this a lot during fall and also this winter season because it has a lot of those warmer matte tones. I totally love matte shadows, especially in the crease. Um, and this is just a great palette. And last but not least is the Bare Minerals um, Power of Neutral palette. And I did do a video on this one too, and also the previous palette, so that could be a few links in this video somewhere. So definitely like this one too. It's more of a cooler tone palette, but I still totally love it, and I still use it, especially this dark brown. It's amazing, and I use it almost every day. It's called Boardroom. It's amazing. So those are the three favorites of 2013 for eyeshadow palettes. So I'm really, really picky when it comes to mascara, and I have been using one for a couple years now, and I kind of always go back to it, just because it's never let me down. It's kind of a good basic mascara, and I love it for my lower lashes. So that would be the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. I don't really worry about my top lashes just because I'm always wearing um, falsies, but this is great for separating, it doesn't clump, and it coats every single lash perfectly. I just totally love the comb of this brush. And it's also really small and thin, so it's also great for the lower lashes. So it's just kind of a great basic um, mascara. So I always, always, always get chapped lips. No matter what, it's just, it always happens and it just sucks. It's just like the worst feeling. So I'm always looking for the best lip balm. And I think I did find the best lip balm, best lip balm. Um, and personally to me, it's sugar from Fresh. It's a sugar lip treatment. And it has sunscreen in it, or, well, you don't have to have the option. You have the option of sunscreen or without sunscreen. But this one, hands down, the best lip balm out there. It is on the pricey side. It's about $25, but I think it's totally worth it. And they have a whole line of them, so it comes in tints and without tints. But this is the basic one with sunscreen. I think it's, it's good to have a little bit of protection on your lip area. Some people forget about that. But if you're looking for the cure for your lips, then you have to get the Sugar Fresh Lip Balm. Okay, so you guys know I am totally obsessed with eyelashes and hopefully someday I will have my own eyelash line. That is one of my to-dos on my to-do list. So my favorite lashes ever so far is the um, Miss Adoro 423 Lashes. I wear these all the time and I cannot live without them. So I get all my lashes from LadyMoss.com. She is an awesome person and her whole family is awesome. She has a website with all the lashes you can think of, all the popular brands, and they're super inexpensive. So I'm always on there looking for... Um, these bad boys and um, there's a few other pairs that I always wear but these are definitely my go-to for 2013 and probably 2014 and when it comes to applying lashes my go-to um, glue would be the duo brush on adhesive and this is my favorite it has a brush so it's really easy to apply that glue on the strip and I feel like it gets tacky really quickly which it makes um, application really easy. The only thing that I hate about this um, tube is that it always has glue buildup, so I can never screw this back on or close it just because it's so messy, but it's the best glue. 
I won't stop using it. Um, it's just a pain in the butt because as you can see it's gross and gunky and it doesn't close all the way but it doesn't matter to me. It works and I probably won't change it until something else comes my way but this is an awesome glue. Okay so as a makeup artist every makeup artist looks for great tools to use to apply that makeup and it's kind of something that's super important to a makeup artist. So the brushes that are my all-time favorite are from Sedona Lace. So I have so many brushes from them and I was so um, grateful to have the opportunity to try all these amazing brushes from them and they're just amazing quality. So hands down, um, Sedona Lace brushes are amazing and I will continue to use them but they just have a little bit of everything for any application that you want. I know they just came out with some travel size brushes which are handy and really exciting especially if you're traveling or you just want something smaller to fit in your purse but Sedona Lace brushes, they're super inexpensive and I don't know, there's not much more to say except that I totally love them. So there were two lipsticks that I just picked up the most and I wore them a lot and I just totally love these colors and I will be so sad if I can never find them again. But one of them is from MAC. It's from the Riri Hearts MAC collection and it's the Riri Woo. That one's a tongue twister. So Riri Woo and it's the most perfect matte red. It's to die for. It's amazing. I used it in a lot of tutorials and I just wore it around, especially during the holidays. This was kind of like my go-to red. Another color that's just an all-around great color is from Bare Minerals. And this is called Stand Out. So it's just a really pretty, warm, kind of plum brown color. I don't know. It's just amazing. I know you guys asked me recently what color I was wearing in... Oh gosh, what video was it? I don't even remember. I think it was when I told you guys about my website. But um, I was wearing this lipstick and it's just, it's so pretty, it's amazing. And it would look great on any skin tone too, which is really nice, so anyone can wear it. So when it comes to eyeshadow, I'm always looking for the best black out there. And I use two, I switch kind of back and forth. But these are the best mattes that I, or best matte blacks that I have seen. One of them is from Urban Decay and this is called Blackout. It's a perfect, perfect dark black, as black as you can go. And it just has so much pigmentation and it's great. I always smudge this around my lash line just to kind of smoke up my look. Another black which is amazing is Corrupt and this is from Makeup Geek and this is also super pigmented and you can get a really nice true black. So if you're looking for a good one for the upcoming year, definitely try these two. I don't think you'll be upset with any of these. They won't let you down. Well, I think that's it. I think I'm going to wrap it up just because I showed you a lot of products and I don't want this video to be any longer because I know it's going to be long. So I hope you guys liked everything I showed you. I hope it, you got some new ideas for 2014, so maybe some new products to try. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And I will also try to do a blog post on my website um, with all these products. So if you kind of miss something that I said, you can check it out in my blog. Once it's posted, I'll have a link below, but it might not be up right away. This video will probably be up first. So just keep checking back. Um, so that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.